What is going on today guys? We are back for another episode in Darkness Falls. Now today we're going to do something a little bit different with the Horde Knight. We're going to have it on the ground instead. Um, one of you guys actually gave me the idea and I thought, you know what? Why not? Let's have a little fun with this. Let's play with the laser rifle a little bit. We have our nice little modded uh, laser rifle here that's fully automatic. So we're going to give that a try and as you can see we have 21,000 rounds. On us right now so just in case that would happen to not be enough I do have a few of the AP for my other gun and let's see how bad this can go for us so the only problem is gonna be that they don't come in like a good straight line but otherwise this gun's gonna absolutely shred them Oops, bad shot. Get out of the way. <laughs> Damn yucca fruit. Now I did turn the spawn back down to 8 for this. Um, I don't think it would be a good idea to try this with a, like 64 count spawn the first time around. Oops, hello. So, yeah, this is going pretty good. This gun absolutely tears them a new one. So, and it reloads really quick. Looks so pretty nice. Kind of the only thing I was a bit worried about was how fast it's going to reload. Um, so it's you got to be quick. With Whoops. There we go. This is going pretty good uh, so far. It's early though. Nothing too nasty has come yet, so. Die, please. Thank you. Hit one of these up quick. Yeah, this ain't so bad at all. Not so bad at all. Seriously, with these bleeds every time. Oh, whoops, I went to, the, to my sniper rifle. I was like, why is it not shooting? Ow, that kind of hurt. I thought I hit that one. It's pretty fun so far. I, I kind of like this idea. Ooh. Yeah, so the reason I kind of decided to do it this way was, you know, with our... With our horde base, you know, it's not too much of a challenge anymore. Um, you know, we're pretty much at, like, complete end game now. Uh, so, I wanted to do it this way, just try it out. We have tons of, tons of ammo, as you can see. Uh, I would have made this a lot sooner, but I was kind of playing around with the underground, uh, underground farming setup a bit. And 
I just couldn't figure out how I wanted to do it. Oh god, vultures. Hello. Snuck up on me quick. Stupid spider zombie die already, would you? Hold on, I need I need a bandage quick. Get away from me. <laughs> Damn vultures. Oh my god, I can't hit him. <laughs> That's going pretty good. I like this. This is fun. Oops. I can't believe I missed that. Oh shit. Whatever that was about. I hate when the game does that. That is so annoying. It's shit like that that's going to get us killed on here. Not not actually fighting these guys, but that kind of stuff is going to get us killed. Let's go ahead and harvest up some stuff here real quick while we wait for the next wave to spawn. Which they are coming right shortly here. Whoops. Oh yeah, let's not play with that. Oh, there it is again. Something to do with the, the Night Stalkers. Uh, specifically the mutated ones. Man, these bleeds like every hit. Apparently I should have brought more, uh, first aid bandages. Okay, I just fixed the bleed, and I'm already bleeding again. <laughs> that's the only that's the only kind of aggravating part so far is the bleeds. Oh my god, I cannot hit them when they start like dodging back and forth like that. Get away from me. Perfect name for the vultures, rats with wings. Oh my god, they I hate them so bad. Get away from me, damn thing. They have a horrible hitbox on them too. Either that or I just suck that bad, but go away. Stupid rat with wings. Bleed again. Damn vultures. <laughs> Don't, like I said, that's the only part that I'm not a huge fan of is the vultures and their bleed. Well, basically anything in their bleed right now. But anyway, last wave is up now. Uh, this is a significantly shorter horde night, by the way. Uh, I did turn down my days to 60-minute uh, days for this instead of the normal 120s because of the fact that we're doing horde night on the ground like this. Now we have to deal with them. That's going to be the fun part. Demolisher is coming in this one. Go away, big mama. Otherwise, I'm, I'm enjoying this. This is actually quite fun. Quite a nice change of pace. Sometimes you just gotta switch it up a bit. Uh, make it a little more interesting, that's for sure. Uh, I kinda want demons in my Horde Knights though, if I may be honest. Uh, just regular zombies, just... 
I think we I think the game should definitely be throwing us some demons. We've been finding them in POIs. Uh, I went and looted something earlier today, and it actually had had demons in it. I was kind of pleasantly surprised by that, if I do say so myself. I, it's kind of nice finding demons when you're just out looting a little bit. Say, you're already dead. Why are you trying to spit? Sit him down for a minute while we clean up the, the mess coming. Oh, that was right in the face. So far, no, no kaboom boom. And yeah, I really don't think we needed to grab 21,000 rounds. That's like more than a little bit of overkill. That's for sure. Considering these just absolutely shred. Now, next video after this is going to be uh, full lab clear with just laser weapons. So you guys can see the difference when you actually use a laser weapon to clear them. Uh, it is absolutely, completely different. Um, it's completely different. Uh, you guys will see exactly what I mean, but it is night and day difference between using regular weapons on them and uh, actually using a laser weapon to stop the regen and stuff. And you'll notice I'm I'm mostly relying on hip firing for this uh, versus ADSing. The reason for that is I want to be able to see everything that's coming from all around me at all the time. Uh, because if you if I zoom in with the scope, you notice how little of the screen I actually have to look around with. So if you guys are wondering why I'm not using the scope too much, I'm trying to trying to be able to see around a bit, and my cats are getting in the way now. That's alright. I'm not too worried about them. I think I could handle this even with the cats being a pain. Kind of get used to the cats. If you deal with cats enough, you get used to get used to how they are. Cats gotta do Cats got to do stuff all the time. Level 183. Now, one thing I do want to point out is I'm like almost to um, getting that completionist perk, which will give the bonus 25% XP. And it also makes it so if you were to die, uh, you don't suffer the ill effects from it anymore. So I can't wait to get that just to... Uh, just for the XP boost. Um, now I'm not 100% familiar with the mod, so I'm not sure uh, what exactly is level cap on here. Um, I would assume, actually, uh, to be honest, I'm not even sure. Uh, there's so many skills. It could be at 200. Uh, you guys will have to let me know because I've never actually hit max level on this mod, so. I'm not familiar with max level at all. Oop. I'm trying to hit him without hitting the explosives. So, a little bit of zooming in sometimes. There's two of them now. Oh wait, no, that's a cop, ain't it? I don't know why I thought that was another one. For some reason, I was thinking it was a second demolisher coming. And as you'll notice, the demolishers aren't really too much of a threat. All these zombies seem really slow. Uh, and they are set to, to you know, the normal sprint. So I'm not sure why they, they all just feel so slow. But they, they definitely feel really slow to me. 
There we go. Another demolisher down. Oh my god, that was some terrible shooting. Glad I have plenty of ammo. Now this ate, to make up all this ammo, it ate up all my electrical parts. Like literally, every one of them. Um, I am completely out of electrical parts. So I kind of want to look for a nice place to loot for them. Uh, one of my favorite places to loot for electrical parts is the big casino on the default small one map. Absolutely great, the huge casino. In my opinion, I don't think there's really anything better. Maybe, maybe the military bunker is uh, because you can reset it with the quest, but all in all, that, that big casino on that map is hands down one of the best spots ever to get electrical parts. Uh, it's just fantastic for it. Lots of spitters this time. It's almost getting daylight. You can tell by it starting to get a little bit more dark. Actually check the time here quick. Yep, it's almost the end of the horde night. Like I said, a lot quicker this time, but I just wanted to go with a nice, short, quick horde night. Uh, I wasn't sure how this was going to go on the ground. I felt pretty confident that it would go good. Um, honestly, I am pretty confident in my shooting and zombie slaying abilities. Not really my shooting, uh, but my zombie killing abilities are pretty good. So, definitely felt comfortable doing this. Um... I had actually been, had this thought about doing this a little bit, but uh, when one of you guys mentioned doing it, I was like, okay, you know what, I got to do it. Uh, you know, it just sounded like so much fun, and honestly, this is a blast. No pun intended. Yeah, this is so much fun. I love doing stuff like this. Yeah, is it more dangerous? Yeah. Potentially, but at the same time, it just, it's so much more fun. Uh, more risky than sitting in, in like my horde base and, you know, not having to worry about getting touched no matter what comes. Uh, which don't get me wrong, I enjoy the building, I enjoy making my horde bases and stuff. But, you know, sometimes you just gotta have a little bit of fun with it, and this was definitely fun. And, you know, what did we go through? We ended up using... We went through 434 rounds uh, after what returned to us from that. So not bad at all. Not not too bad at all. That was actually a pretty damn cheap horde night, if I do say so myself. Uh, Apparently, I could have brought, like, two stacks and been fine. That mod works really well. Uh, this rechargeable battery mod for the laser weapons is absolutely fantastic, as you guys can see. Uh, it was doing some serious work in getting us uh, our ammo back, so I'm stoked about that. That's great. Uh, I'm actually kind of surprised how well that works and how little ammo we went through. That means, you know, we'll be able to save up just absolutely tons tons of that ammo and it's not gonna take nearly as much as i originally thought i was expecting you know even with that mod you know we'd probably get like a one in three chance of getting getting our ammo back but it's pretty damn good but like i said we went through what 434 rounds i think i think we started out with 21,000 extra so shit i can't complain about that this ammo is gonna last us quite a while and I, I do plan on making more uh, I love to shoot I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do as far as uh, for the rest of the playthrough on here uh, I know we're still we still have guides to make I do plan on making uh, a guide video on the like the animal 
uh, the raising of the animals and stuff. But I've had such terrible luck. Uh, I've wanted to make that guide for quite a while, but I have had such terrible luck getting the baby animals to drop. It's unreal. I have found two uh, in 35 days now. Two. And I actually spent one whole day out riding around and using the master hunter uh, skill to locate all the animals and shoot them. I can't tell you how many cows and pigs and wolves I've killed and have not managed to get the drops from them. It's just, it's kind of odd. Um, but like I said, I've gotten two. I got one pretty early on and the second one uh, I got during the full day of farming for it. I actually only got one. Uh, and I, I can't tell you how much, how many stacks of meat I brought back from that. It was, it was absolutely insane how many, how many I killed and only got one drop. And the worst part is, is I think I have one wolf and one cow or one wolf and one pig, uh, something like that. So it's, it's been pretty rough going. I might end up, uh, I don't want to do it, but I might end up having to, uh, use the creative menu to spawn a couple in um, just so I can just so I can make the guide video on that because you know at this rate I'm never gonna you know I'm never gonna end up finding enough of them so we're gonna scrap down these helmets they're not worth a lot and to be honest I really don't need money I really don't need anything to be honest uh, I have like so much of Pretty much everything. I actually just ended up spending most of my forged iron. I made... I don't even know. 300, I think it was. 300 irrigation pipes uh, to set up my underground farm. Because I ended up doing it differently than I had originally planned. I was going to... Uh, I was going to run it from that one, one spot we had made on camera. But I decided to do it a little bit different uh, because of where I ended up making the farm underground. Now, I didn't I didn't ever watch any of the videos. I know one of you mentioned I could find a video on it, but for me, a lot of stuff I end up learning uh, on my own. And you were nice enough to you were nice enough to tell me pretty much how exactly how to set it up. Um, so. I kind of wanted to just experiment with it by myself and see if I could make it happen in my own sort of fashion. Uh, I guess I'll call it. I don't really have a good way of saying it. And again, it's not me trying to sound mean or uh, not appreciate you taking the time to to say that you found that the video for it or anything like that. But I don't know. Um some stuff I just kind of, kind of tend to play around with, just for, just for something to do more or less. Uh, and it's quite a project. I I spent, God, I I can't even tell you guys how much time racking my brain around how I actually wanted to set that up uh, underground. So it's definitely, definitely a project for sure. I will not deny that one bit. I'm actually, just going to use these as storage. There we go, just like that. You know what? Let's be smart. This thing has one use. Driving driving over for our on the ground horde night. <laughs> this toter of a freaking thing. God, I hate this thing. That stupid plow blade gets hung up on everything. It's so bad. I wish I wish you could make this without that blade on it. Because this thing would be awesome. Uh absolutely love making it. It sounds pretty nice and everything. But with that ridiculous plow blade on it it gets hung up on everything and I just it is now basically my front yard ornament and that's that's about all the further it goes uh, this is the most use it's gotten since I made the damn thing to be honest uh, to be perfectly honest I was a little bit pissed off with how how bad the plow blade gets hung up on everything when I made it because it is expensive to make that thing it is terribly expensive and then the roads as you guys know on here are so terrible uh, yeah I was I won't deny it I was I was a little bit pissed off when it when it got hung up on like every little thing um, 
So wasn't wasn't a big fan of that. Uh, it's still it's still nice. It is convenient for certain things, but if I were to actually take it anywhere to use it and uh, do like a loot run with it, I'd have to basically redo the roads all the way around the map in order to use it. So that might end up being something I do end up doing. I'm not actually throwing that idea uh, out the window or anything because I do want to end up using it. Uh, I didn't craft it for for a yard ornament, that's for damn sure. Uh, so I do want to actually get some some good use out of it. So what I might end up doing is I might just remake some of the roads around the map as I go so I can actually actually use it like the main roads. Uh, when you get to a spot that's absolutely just terrible to try to drive through, uh, I might end up just doing that. Because like I said, it is a very neat car, uh, and I enjoyed making it. But, man, it is expensive to make. It takes a lot of fuel to, dr to drive it. And I was, I was pretty disappointed when it... Uh, I couldn't even take it to the trader uh, right down the road from my base. Trader's like 600 kilometers, I think. I couldn't even get to the trader with it because it got hung up uh, so many times. I just never made it anywhere. But, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the... The on the ground horde night like i said i had a blast doing it it's absolutely fun um again i was pretty confident it was going to go all right but i wanted to make shorter horde night videos because to be honest if we're not going to get like really anything anything more to the horde nights uh the horde nights and again i love horde nights so don't get me wrong when i say this but if the Horde Knights aren't going to get harder, you know, we're not going to get Demons or Behemoths or any sort of thing like that. Uh, it's going to become kind of the same repetitive thing from the Horde base. I mean, let's face it, our Horde base is set up to survive, you know, the Holocaust. I mean, ain't, isn't anything going to be plowing through our Horde base anytime soon? Uh, so, you know, as... I kind of wanted something different, like I said. I kind of wanted to change it up, make it a little more difficult. And hopefully, now again, I've never gotten far enough to see if there are demons that come on Horde Knights. I, I would assume there is. I would hope there is. Uh, because that's, you know, the name of the game is for it to be, to be tough with this mod. So I would... I really do hope there is demons that do come for Horde Knights because, God, that would be so much fun, you know. Be sitting there on your Horde base or, you know, in my case, running around on the ground because cause you're cocky, because you're cocky like I am and all of a sudden a succubus or an incubus comes after you. and That would be so neat. Now, again, we are playing on just the stock difficulty, so, you know, they're not going to do a whole hell of a lot of damage to us anyway. But it would just be fun to see. It would be a fun change of pace because, you know, the waves are the waves of Horde, of Horde Knight are basically set up the same. You know, the last wave is always, uh, you know, while well, it's now the tourist, uh, you get an occasional soldier, and you get the cops, and you get an occasional uh, demolisher. So it's basically the same thing every night where you're going to get the same soft targets, uh, the spitters, the bombers, and an occasional armored soldier to throw you off. So, in the wave before that is what I call the animal wave, where you get the wolves, you get the bears, you get the spider zombies, you get the, uh, you get the vultures, you know, the, uh, night stalkers, stuff like that. So it's basically the same thing repeated over and over again. And I want to start seeing something different, you know. The game needs to throw a bit of a hiccup at you uh, to make you think twice about stuff. Like, you know, you could have first wave where it's, you know, armored targets. So you'd have uh, utility workers, cowboys, bikers, soldiers, you know, stuff like that. And then throw a wrench at you, you know, second wave, uh, demonic, you know. So you have, like, Demonic Behemoth come out of nowhere. I'd love to see what they could do for block damage, though. I would love to see a Demonic Behemoth come crashing at my Horde base 
and see what he could do against my steel blocks. That would be pretty neat. I got to admit, if there was something like that for Horde Knights, oh man, Horde Knights could become, you know, just so much more fun. Uh, but for me, pretty much, I want to explore the POIs now because, you know, I have nothing against Horde Knights, so don't get me wrong. I love shooting the zombies. But at the same time, you know, it's the same old thing. I want to get out. I want to explore new POIs. Uh, we're going to do the the other lab clear with full laser weapons to see the difference. Uh, the labs are so much fun. The military bunkers are fun. But, you know, we're level 184 with game stage of 328. We should have, we should absolutely be seeing demons by now. You know, because, like I said, we have nothing left to unlock. Uh, at level 175, you unlock the last level in technology crafting. By then, you should be seeing demons regularly. Uh, by And this is my opinion, but before game stage 300, you should be having demons in your POIs regularly. You should also be having demons on Horde Knights. So, again, just my thoughts. I like, I like it tough. I like a bit of a challenge. That's why we're doing insane difficulty now on that one playthrough. So, you know, maybe... Maybe on insane difficulty, it's going to be a lot more difficult to uh, contend with the even the normal zombies, and maybe I'll think differently about it then. But you know, for a stock difficulty, you know, we st we stood on the ground, and yes, I know we have a laser laser rifle that does super amount of damage that's completely fully modded. But at this late in the game, you should uh, you should have. You know, basically the best that you can get. So I feel like the game should increase the difficulty as such. But anyway, I'm going to quit jabbering because I tend to tend to go on too much a little bit about stuff. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Next video on here is going to be the lab's full clear with laser weapons. I'm going to be bringing this laser rifle, the laser sword, and the laser pistol. And we're going to go through the full lab, clear it out, uh, take out the portal and all sorts of goodies like that and see what we can come up with at this late of a game stage. So I saved that other lab just so we could clear that uh, with full laser weapons as like a guide. Uh, well, not really. It's not a guide. My my apology. It's more of a uh, just to show so you guys can see exactly the difference because it's going to be, like I said, it's going to be completely night and day difference. Um, having laser weapons to stop that regen is you know so much more different but anyway that's going to be it for this episode guys hopefully you enjoyed it thank you guys so much for being here i do hope you guys are enjoying the videos if you guys are enjoying them make sure you guys smash that like button for me comment down below with what your thoughts are on this mod do you think it should be more difficult for what it is uh what do you guys think about the upcoming lab clear with the laser weapon i'm going to try to take this with to the lab so i'm going to be uh, making a nice trail uh, through the roads and fixing them up so I can actually take this with me for once because if you guys have not seen the storage of this storage of this is you know it's 9 by 8 which if you go and look at the the 4x4 four 4x4 four, four four is 9 oh wait yep 9 by 7 so it's bigger storage and you know look at the durability on it it's got absolutely monster durability. So anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys again for being here, and we'll catch you guys for the next episode.